Hello there everyone, my name's Lost and welcome back to Let's Build a Binding of Isaac clone. In this episode, we're going to create two basic enemies and give them some very simplistic AI. Um, we're going to create a slow moving zombie and an enemy that stays in one place and spits acid or whatever you like at you. Um, so let's crack on shall we. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to create a sprite and we're going to call it SPR Zombie. And we're going to edit sprite, make it Make a new one, make it 64 by 64, and we can just color it red, and maybe, maybe just write like a green Z or something on it, just so we know that that means zombie. So let's OK that, and we will put that in the center. Good, OK. So let's just make that into an object really quickly. So object zombie and again you know how to do this now let's link that to the zombie sprite and we're going to add an event and in this event we're going to add a step and control and some code. Now this is the most simple AI that you can get really and that's all we want for a zombie because we just all we want for the zombie to do is to follow the player around and try to attack him and to achieve that we're going to go MP potential step and in here we're gonna say we want you to move towards object player dot X and object player dot Y and check all oh sorry speed first let's just set that a speed of three and check all all that means is um, if you see it down here it tells you which parameters are what and the check all basically means um, what what objects is it going to dodge? So if you set it to true, then that means it's going to try to dodge every object around you. So um, I'll give you an example. I'll, I'll show you what that means. So while it's on true, it's going to try to move its way around. It would help actually <laughs> if I placed an object, a zombie in the room. So let's <laughs> let's maybe do that first. Uh, right. So we'll just put him there. So anyway, let me just show you what I meant there. So what it's going to do is, you see how it's, it's just coming towards us, but it can't collide with us, like it can't hit us, because um, we've set it to dodge everything. So the check all basically meant um, move around things. Whereas if we set it to um, false, all it's going to do now is it's going to dodge solid objects only, and that's what we want. Our character is not a solid object, but we are going to have solid objects in the future. Um, maybe, maybe they can be obstacles. Maybe they can be barriers, so we can't leave. You know, things like that. So, there we go. That's very basic zombie AI right there. Now, the second enemy that we want to make, the spitter, um, is going to be something like this. So let's create a new sprite, SPR um, spitter and we will do the exact same that we did for the zombie 64 by 64 and let's zoom right in color it red and this time we can give it a I don't know maybe a yellowy S or something there we go that's good enough for me and again center the origin and that's it I mean you only ever want to center the origins for for objects that are going to move really um, they're the important ones. So let's now give it the object. So object um, spitter. And again, link it to the sprite. Oh, I've just realized that we also need to make a spit sprite. So SPR spit. Um, this time you can make it 32 by 32. And we'll make it some sort of green colour. So top left to bottom right once again and we will fill it. Good. So it, the, the method that we're going to use here is very very similar to the one that we used to shoot our own tears. However there is a slight difference um, because what we're going to want to do here is we're going to go to step and control and we're going to just put and now this 
I'll just show you what I mean first. So we're going to put instance create x and y. So in the center of the objects, it's going to create this, and it's going to create object spit. And obviously, we haven't created the object, so it's not gone red, but we will create the object right now. And what's happening there is it's going to create that every frame of the game. So there's going to be way too many of them, obviously, but I'm just going to demonstrate it real quick. So let's connect that to the spit sprite. Um, and what we're going to do here is on create, we're going to add some code and we're going to put um, move towards point. And the point we're going to move towards is object player dot x and object player dot y at a speed of maybe five will do. So, oh, and, and one thing you can do actually is if you're wondering how I know. Um, what to use in terms of like like these here. Um, if you if you hit F1 in the coding section, you'll bring up the help menu. Now all you have to do is search. So I've been searching for direction apparently, or you could search for any of these. Let's let's just use the one that I used in the first zombie potential, and it's not there. So let's just search for MP. Oh good, not there again. So let's <laughs> let's search for step. And MP potential step. There it is. There's the one that I use to make it follow. And it tells you exactly what it does. It gives you a nice description and it gives you an example and basically tells you how to use it. So that's all dandy. Now, back to this. So, as it's created, we're going to tell it to move towards point and it's just moving towards the player at a speed of 5. Good. Let's just see how that looks. And it, it should actually just spam the screen with green spit. I, and again, it would probably help if I placed it in the room. <laughs> oh god, right. So, object spitter, let's just put it there. Now, it won't move, but obviously it will try and spit at us. Okay, good. That's exactly what we want. It's trying to hit us. Obviously, there's no collision in the game yet, so. It, it doesn't really do anything. Obviously, we can fire. It's not going to touch them. Good. So that we know it works. However, we're going to want to fix this into something like we have, where it fires them um, one at a time, rather than a stream of green ooze or whatever. So we've already we've already used alarms. So that's what we're going to do again. Um, we're going to go to the spitter. We are going to add in here. We will just simply cut that with control and X we'll put alarm 0 equals maybe um, 40 let's let's try 40 let's see how slow that is and add the alarm and we're going to control add some code and instance create so I've just pasted that in there now let's see how that works Oh, the re oh, oh dear. The reason that is not working is because um, it's resetting the alarm every frame. So that was a bit silly. I should have thought about that. Um, so what we're going to want to do then is we're going to want to set um, the the same that we did in the play. We'll go if firing equals false, um, then we can just put that in there. Then the alarm will equal forty. Oh, actually, we can't do that, can we? Because we're gonna, we're going to need to set it down here, because we're going to need multiple lines of code. So that's fine. So if firing equals false, the alarm equals false, and that's fine. So now let's put firing equals true, and that needs two equals there because it's 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 a bool. It's just checking to see whether it's active or not. To set things, it's one equals. To check, it's two equal signs. So. Now we need to add a create event so we can add the variable. So let's just put um, firing equals false. Now what we're going to do is in the alarm we will simply put underneath that firing equals false again. So let's just check the logic on that one. So we're going into the step event. It's going it, to obviously when, when it creates it sets the firing to false. So it says, if firing equals false, start this alarm, 
and now firing equals true. So it won't keep continuously um, resetting the alarm. Then when we go into alarm, it'll say, right, create that, and I'll set it back as false so we can fire again. Now let's see if that logic works. And, yep, yeah, there we go. It's now firing um, quite slowly. So yeah, there you go. That's two very basic AIs. You've got a very slow moving zombie that'll just chase you and some sort of turret. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. And in the next episode we will deal with collisions. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will catch you next time.